Welcome to Rome, Italy. Today you're going to come along with us for our time in Rome. I am going to show you the things that we're going to get up to, the places that we're going to go, the things that we see. I will also throw in some little tips if you're planning your own visit to Rome and I'll share ticket prices for the attractions that we do. I will put timestamps down below in the description so that if one thing doesn't really interest you, you can just skip ahead to a different section if you fancy. We have got four and a half days in Rome and we're actually staying just a little tiny bit outside of Rome purely for the reason that when we are visiting it is August it's crazy hot the last weeks or so it's been like 40 degrees in Rome it has cooled off slightly but we're still in 32 33 35 kind of degree weather and we just figured that to be honest we didn't really want to be traipsing around a city and not have access to a pool and access to a pool is very limited if there are any at all uh, at ho in hotels in the centre of Rome so when I say we're not in the centre we're just we have to just walk through a park to get into into the centre of Rome it's only like a 15 minute walk and it's a pretty nice walk. I will link down below the hotel that we are staying at because it is a really, really nice hotel. It's a really good location. It's got a lovely pool. We get breakfast with our stay. And so, yeah, I really recommend this hotel. We landed in Rome around lunchtime, we had a really good flight and then once you land in Rome there are a couple of options to get into the city centre. The city centre is about 16 miles from the airport. The most expensive option is a taxi. The good point about the taxi is that you can get that 24-7 if you arrive at an odd time of night. It costs about 50 euros and it takes about 40 minutes. The mid price option is the train that costs 14 euros. It takes 40 minutes like the taxi. The trains are only available from 6 till 6 in the morning and until half 11 at night. And then the cheapest option, the one that we did, I like cheap and cheerful, is the bus. That only costs 6 euros per person. It does take that a little bit longer. It's just over an hour to get to the centre and it drops you off at the main train station in Rome, Termini train station. These buses are available from about half five in the morning till one o'clock in the morning, so pretty much 24 seven in all honesty. And it is really easy to get tickets as well as you're coming out of departures. There's a big sign that you can get the QR code for Terrorvision and you can just buy your tickets there if you want. You can just go to the bus stop outside the station. You can get your tickets easily there as well. For our first half day in Rome, we decided not to book anything in and just have a relaxing wander around the city just to kind of get our bearings a little bit. This is the park that we had to walk through. It's called Villa Borghese Park and it is a beautiful park. It's got a villa, as the name would suggest, Villa Borghese. It's got a villa in the park that you can visit and it's just, it's really massive, massive area and it's beautiful. And we just wandered through that park and then just wandered aimlessly around the city. To be honest, we kind of just stumbled across the Spanish steps. The Spanish steps were really right by the park. And then we kind of just stumbled across the Trevi Fountain. We just walked and wandered and just kind of got a feel for the city. We of course had to get a gelato. For our first full day in Rome, we are going to relax by the pool for a little bit in the morning. Before we head off to the Colosseum, I have booked our Colosseum tickets online beforehand. You can just turn up to the Colosseum if you want, but I wouldn't particularly recommend it. When you book online, you get a time slot. Our time slot is three o'clock, and so we've got a bit of time to kill. We figured we would just hang around by the pool and enjoy our time there. 
There are so many different types of tickets for the Coliseum. The tickets that we got were full access tickets that include access to the Coliseum, the arena floor. With all tickets, you get access to the Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum. To be honest, when I was looking, I found it really confusing which tickets we wanted. You can get underground tickets where you get access to the underground layer where the gladiators waited for the fights and where the animals were kept. And I really fancied that tour, but it was sold out by the time that we went to book. But the tickets that we got cost £18.49 for an adult and only £1.29 for a child under 17 so Stephen just snuck in as a child. We are getting these audio guides since we don't have a guided tour we feel like a bit of a audio guide would be useful. They are six euros each. Our visit to the Coliseum has been paused for a second for the weather we have we've just had a little look inside, we've come out to the arena but it's pouring down with rain and so we're just going to wait under this little archway for a bit and see if it stops. It is our second day in Rome and this morning we're going to have a little bit of pool time because it's a beautiful day today after that downpour that we had at the Colosseum yesterday. We are going to head over to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill and the tickets for this, as I said before, were included in our Colosseum tickets. They generally are included in your Colosseum tickets and you've got two days to use them. So you could go to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill all in one day, but we've chosen to do it a bit slower. Did Colosseum yesterday, we're going to do the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill today. Whoa, those letters are like as big as me. The Roman Forum is the centre of where the ancient city of Rome was. It was the location of so many important religious, social and political activities. Romulus of Romulus and Remus has a tomb here and Julius Caesar was cremated here. The Roman Forum is just right next to the Colosseum. You can see it when you look out from the Colosseum and Palatine Hill is also just right next to it. Palatine Hill is where Romulus apparently founded the city of Rome and where Roman emperors had their imperial palaces. It's a very early start for us today. We set alarms for just before seven. <laughs> We're not happy about it. We're off to the Vatican. Personally, I don't think you can go to Rome without heading over to the Vatican City for a visit. 
it is of course the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, it's home to the Pope. It is the smallest country in the world, it's an independent city-state. It's got a population of about 800 people. So to get into the Vatican itself is completely free, you can just go in, you just wander in, there is no sort of queues or lines or anything just to get into the actual Vatican City. But there are certain parts that you will need a ticket for and there are certain parts that you will queue for. We decided to go on a Wednesday because on Wednesdays there is a Papel audience which is when the Pope speaks and you can go and you can see the Pope. You don't need a ticket for this whatsoever. There is a hell of a big long line though. We arrived early, we got there around 8 o'clock and the queue was already pretty big. You have to queue up to go through security before you can go into where the Pope is doing the Papel audience. My one biggest, biggest tip for the Vatican is get there early. The queues really do build up for the things that you need to queue for. Like I say, you can just wander around inside the Vatican, no problem at all. But if you want to go inside St. Peter's Basilica, that queue forms pretty quickly, pretty early. We joined the queue at about half past nine and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And for lots of that, you potentially stood out in the sun, and especially in the summer, that can get pretty crazy. But you don't need a ticket to enter St. Peter's Basilica. Is it the, the capital T? No way. Oh. I find out. <laughs> yep, just stick it on. Oh yeah, I can taste it. What you do need a ticket for is the Vatican Museums. And to get to the Vatican Museums, you have to go out of the Vatican and walk back into Rome, walk around a bit, and you'll find the entrance to the Vatican Museums. I bought our tickets online again. In all honesty, it wasn't needed. So many people were just turning up and buying their tickets. If you do buy them online, I would really recommend using the official website because every other website has got inflated prices. From the Vatican website itself, I will link it down below. It is in Italian, but it's not that confusing, I don't think, and maybe you can translate it. The tickets are 17 euro for an adult, and a redotto ticket is 8 euro, and that is for children aged between 6 and 17. Fives and under are free. And with those tickets, you'll be given a time, and that time is for entering the Vatican Museums. And wow, is the Vatican Museums just packed and packed and packed. I think what most people go to the Vatican Museum for is the Sistine Chapel and Michelangelo's ceiling painting right at the very end. You have to walk around all of the rest of the museum before you get to the Sistine Chapel. And then going into the Sistine Chapel right at the end, there are no cameras inside the Sistine Chapel. It is our last day in Rome today. We leave for Naples tomorrow. And firstly, we are going to head to the pool for a little bit more sun and relaxation. I have loved having a pool. It's definitely been worth that slight inconvenience of having a 50 minute walk into the city, especially in the summer months. I would not have liked to have done this without having a pool. We are heading into the centre of Rome. We're going to take a line bike. We've been doing this a few times to get in. Stephen's been loving it. He much prefers it than walking. I'm a little bit nervous about doing it around Rome, to be honest. It's pretty busy, but I've kind of got used to it. We found a nice little kind of river route and it's worked well. 
Stephen has chosen an activity to do tonight. But first off, before we get there, we're going to have a little wander around Piazza Navona. We're going to go to the Pantheon, have a little wander, mooch around. And then head over to do a VR bus tour. Tickets for this are 16 euro for an adult. Under sixes are free and a ridotto, so six till 17 is 11 euro. Virtual reality bus, a sophisticated time machine, unique in the world for its technology. Ready to let you experience history at first hand. Thanks to a sophisticated system of diffusing aromatic essences, we too can now breathe in smells that will take us back to the original atmosphere of the Imperial Age. It is dawn, and like the citizens of the time, we suddenly find ourselves inside the magnificent Forum of Trajan. down to us appears before our eyes, the Flavian Amphitheatre, known throughout the world as the Colosseum, with an original height of almost 50 meters and a surface area of 2.5 hectares, exalting spectators. This experience is made possible by the innovative technology of our virtual reality bus. This building is the Altar della Patria, which means the Altar of the Fatherland. And oh my goodness, it's absolutely insane. It's honestly one of the most impressive buildings I've ever seen in all my life. I'm not sure whether on camera the scale comes across. It's absolutely huge it's so so impressive i'm generally kind of awestruck by this building it was built to celebrate vittorio emmanuel ii the first king of italy i'm not sure why he's the second if he's the first king maybe someone can let me know in the comments but now it's the home to the tomb of the unknown soldier there's a museum in there we didn't know you could go in we were just kind of marveling at it from outside and then saw that people were going in up the steps and we we're like oh let's go and have a little explore it's free to enter honestly it's just amazing to me, like so, so incredible. getting to the end of our time in Rome. In the next video we head to Naples so make sure you subscribe so you can catch that video and find out what we got up to there. <laughs>